Hello and welcome back to the legendary Iron Man version of The Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and we're playing on the highest difficulty, month number 4. A uh, few missions went exceptionally well, others uh, not so much. Our last mission uh, was a pretty close slugfest. Luckily enough we made it out alive. Sometimes you just cannot win. And you gotta accept that. Um, you need to know when to cut your losses. Uh, today we got a different mission. We got um, a pretty solid uh, team uh, going in and reducing the enemy strength in this area, which uh, is pretty, pretty good, as well as getting enemy materials. So as a, once this mission is done, uh, two more days and the covered, uh, covert ops mission will be done and then kind of the prime team is ready and can be reunited. So we will then start... Um, infiltrating the um, at um, the advent hq here and finally liberate our starting region let's go guys and here we go advent typically moves its forces in large groups but we have located a smaller unit uh, which on its own is vulnerable a well-timed assault and well damaged advent's interests in this region and affords us a rare opportunity to bring home enemy corpses for research which means, in other words, don't fuck it up and uh, essentially this time uh, cover, uh, recover as many corpses as possible. Atrana will be the scout for us and the simple but yet very deceptive target is to, uh, to eliminate everyone, each and everyone. Got Glitch here as our uh, man for explosives, nasty, uh, so Grenadier and, um, and uh, Technician. So we should have enough explosives available. Edgar Alien Poe. We'll be here for healing purposes. Renman will help with making sure that we are actually winning this run. And Roby is doing so as well. The three of them should under no circumstances be injured because I need them very soon. I do not. I I've forgotten how many enemies we're fighting against. I would guess probably twelve if I if I had to take a guess. Moving as fighting is over. Their patrol is coming. Okay, four enemies. Interesting. Um, so these guys remain visible, which means we don't have to track them manually. Let's move on and check for other packs. There's no time limit and after the last mission, which has failed, I really want to do a mission that is successful. Okay, so everyone's being moved in. This pack is um, patrolling, but to the right hand side. Probably not going to be relevant for us.
would have been cool for an ambush here because we would have had high ground, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we just rediscovered them, and that's pretty much it. Let's get our guys in position. We do not have a sniper, hence um, this team here is more short and mid-ranged. I am wondering if this here is the only pack. Let's take a peek around here. See if we can find something. Nothing. Okay. Very strange. So if they were to move over, I would much rather be positioned on this side. Good to go. Got it covered. All right, there must be a second pack. Can't be just a single pack and that's about it. Okay, so it appears as if they would be coming closer and closer and closer. So it's not the worst idea to position ourselves for a potential engage from their side. Alright, that's the second patrol. We're not going to be spotted out here, so... I'm not terribly afraid about essentially leaving our flank open. They would need more than one round to join us, but they could pincer us. Just need to keep away from these positions here. Yeah, whatever. I think it's going to be fine. Oh, I should have steadied his weapon. Patrol on the move. 
That's another pack. We don't want to trigger all three of them. So, how about changing pace, uh, pace a little bit or changing gears a little bit? Let's move. And get out of reach. Position ourselves well over here. And then we're simply engaging this larger pack here. It's the most difficult pack. Might as well use concealment in order to get it. Got it. Moving. And it will ensure that we're not running into the other two packs. Okay. Team is set up relatively well. I'm actually quite happy. See, we're almost back to seeing those guys again, right? Hmm. But I'm okay with it. Let's just, for now, Overwatch. We're just waiting until one of the picks uh, decides to go somewhere else. Can't take forever. Well, that's a simple pack of two. That's the opposite of a difficult pack. Let's wait one more turn until the Sunlancer pack is finally gone. They somehow have the talent to be like right on the edge of our vision range. Just so they are annoying enough. See, of course, we're seeing like that one soldier over there, just in case, right? <sighs> Do I want to fight against six people is the question. As a soft knob, that's fine. I also like the flamethrower. Would be the first time that we could use a flamethrower. However, it would most likely kill the trooper and I actually want to recover the corpses. 
So you know what? Maybe in all honesty, a solid grenade launcher over here, which wouldn't kill anyone but heavily injure them, wouldn't be the worst idea. Still need to deal with those two. But yeah, I think it wouldn't it wouldn't be too bad. Two to seven means there's a very high chance that all four of them are going to survive. And we're going to test exactly that. All right. Time for a bit of fortification, because I already know where this one here is going. And here we go. All right, Edgallion Poe could move over here and start eliminating him. Could also move over here doing the same. Roby would barely make it over, so that's not a good option. Renwin could move to here, knock him out. Um, hmm. Roby has uh, the knife fighter. Um, competitive traits, so that would help against incoming stun lancers, specifically this gentleman over here. We could go and flashbang this area, essentially making them quote unquote useless for one round. Yeah, I would save the Claymore, there is no need to waste it. Mm, yeah. Fortifying. Run and gun Renvin. Moves into full cover. So it should be very hard to spot out, uh, to, to shoot at. Hundred percent chance uh, to kill him. Uh, is it going to be a kill? It's the question. So armor doesn't count. We're looking at what seven to yeah, fifty percent chance to crit. This one here would be six to ten. Only ninety percent chance to hit, but it would be massive damage increase. Six to ten. We're going for Dead Eye, come on. That's the spirit. Very nice. As always, rapid deployment comes in handy. Just an extremely, just an extremely st uh, strong skill.
Oh, look at that. Loss. I'm wondering, maybe a 50-50 here wouldn't be the worst decision. Could use an explosion, but that's probably not necessary. Could move over here, but I think that effectively moving Renvan over here is the better choice. Reason being, uh, Roby over here is the better choice. Reason being, we can parry his melee attack. Fifty fifty to kill him. Could move up to here, but like I said, that's it's a dangerous game. Sixty-five percent by far the best shot. Do it. Does anyone need an aid protocol? Renman is fine. Let's give Roby an aid protocol just in case. I mean, he's in full cover, but it doesn't hurt having an aid protocol. And kill this guy here. Purifier needs to die. Alright, come on. I think the game is loading chosen. Uh, loss. As always, an annoying amount of loss. Those will not be able to kill us uh, or to, to deal damage next turn. Can't move behind here or up here, which would have been good spots. Could lob another grenade into to this area here. But that would probably take away the cover of um, Renvin. So not necessarily advisable. I think it's not the end of the world. He will take like what? A maximum of two points of damage. He has plenty uh, ablative hit points. Let's kill this trooper over here. Good job. Well done, Roby. You know what? Let's go for an Overwatch.
Well, we don't even need to take them out if Advent is doing the job for us. This overwatch will not last because uh, the loss will trigger it. Keep on killing yourself. Good job. That's how it's done. That's not what you're supposed to do. All right, Edgar Allan Poe. I really would like to get the Mewton. Hmm. Moving up. I think we can use his ammunition just to get rid of the loss. Take out another loss. Uh, unfortunately, missed. We're not triggering the mutant this turn. Just decided that. We don't have a time pressure, we don't need to pull another pack, we still have enemies left over as it stands. To kill the stun lances, we need them for research purpose, the corpses. I would like, however, to get rid of uh, a lot of uh, the cover here. Which would make it a lot easier for us to hit those guys instead of standing in full cover. Fortunately, we killed the Stun Lancer. I think 
Being here is not the worst idea. Moving anywhere else would trigger the mutant pack. So might as well reload and see if we can kill the Advent Priest. Moving up, and we're overwatching. Reload, and overwatch. Moving over to here triggers the next pack. Or just a single stun lancer. Good. Time to scout again. So there must be a mutant pack somewhere around here. Okay, over there. Fair enough. The problem with his shotgun is we need uh, to reload. We can't go into Overwatch. This here might pull another pack. Depending on whether or not the mutant runs into his line of sight. Can't really go anywhere. Could go to here. It's half cover, but it's not triggering them. Very, very strong position, though. Moving to position. So that's an Overwatch, another Overwatch. I think reload for Ed Galleon Poe just to be uh, safe. Sure. Could have definitely anticipated that that would happen. Not. All right, moving into full cover. Full 
flanking the Viper, but the Viper is way out of range. Okay, that will work. Rapid deployment. This might trigger loss. Nah, it will most likely trigger loss. It's not bad though. I think if we can keep corpses, that also includes uh, keeping the lost corpses. Lucky us that we have reloaded with Edgar Alien Poe. Okay, so I think we got to deal with a loss once again, at least with some of them. Let's move up with Roby. Could also move to here, but I think that wouldn't be a good idea. Could also move up to here, which would be incredibly aggressive. Time to deal with the Viper, come on, I want a crit. Unlucky. Hmm, Nasty could move up to here, making space for Edgar and Poe, who to move in here and take a shot at the Viper. Before we do that though, this is a 20% sh uh, shot, but it would be a really 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 uh, no it wouldn't because look at the crit chance it would be not a really good shot we got to get closer with him
One, two, three, four kills. One. Reload. Two. Three. And four. That's all of them done. Time to kill the Viper. Another chance uh, to kill this beast. There we go. That's the crit I was hoping for. Could even move up to here. It's probably a little bit too risky. Although, on the other hand, the Viper can make can as a maximum bind and that really doesn't do much damage okay unfortunately this position here is not really available so we're fortifying ourselves moving up and we're almost out of ammunition thanks to the loss Fifty-fifty. Didn't work out. Could move to here, take a shot. Mm -mm. Don't want to tr uh, pull the other pack. Moving behind the pillar. Moving behind the pillar. One, two, three, four. Uh, loss on there. Hmm. Could move up to here. Not a spectacular move, but at least a safe one. Fifty-fifty. Yeah, we're not going to take a thirty percent chance. We're instead just overwatching. Normally I don't like the loss, but in this particular scenario, where we are keeping all of the corpses, this might actually be pretty helpful. Moving up. Can use his shotgun to get rid of most of the loss. Don't want to use this flamer because I think that will also permanently destroy the corpses.
Uh, keep the flamer as a reserve option though. Okay, let's start. Renman, come on. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, we can take the shot. 60% good enough. Come on. Wow. It's almost down. <laughs> Gosh. All right, Roby moves up. Can't go for him. He needs to kill the Viper. Yet another grazing shot. You gotta hate the Vipers. Good. We're reloading here. And now it's a simple numbers game. He will have his psi abilities next turn again. But that's fine. Might as well use it. We're trying to hit at 50-50 shots. Wonderful. And we've just triggered another pack. <clears throat> nice. Come on. Yep, melee vulnerability. Hit him. All right, moving in. Let's start with the lost. This here might as well be it for the sector. Very nice, good job. Gotta love the shotguns, right? Definitely fortify. Can we flank someone over here? Nope, we can't, which means we might as well take high ground. Or full cover over here, which probably is the better choice. So, gotta reload. And before we take any action... Gosh, they are far away, so... To be honest... Instead of rushing in... How about 
We're just letting them come. Let's get into full cover. I'd like to take the loot. Um, yep, moving into full cover. So now they are forced to double move. And not only that, we can also take a very clear look and see where they are going. All right, reload it is, and let's wait for them to come. <coughs> Double move. Lots of double moves. Okay, good. Short bio break and back. Let's get right into the action. So we need to deal with the mutant. I don't know if we could hit uh, the claymore from here. It's dangerous. Yep, we can. Good. Ooh, more loss. Wow. Okay, so moving over here, essentially staying out of their line of sight. This here could be a kill. And it very much is a kill. Yeah, before going in, can we we don't need to go in right away. It's time for Overwatch. There's ample time for reloading, and next turn we're going to kill them. Reload yeah, very well. Are we seeing another uh, swarm of loss? Okay, we're dealing with the loss first. Because once we uh, once we kill the other uh, 
two operatives, the mission is over. I don't know how much a lost corpse is worth in terms of supplies, but since we are very short on supplies, I don't mind farming them. Okay, time to handle the lost invasion. Three, five, six. Yeah, we're staying at the wall. I don't want to position myself here and then all of a sudden be flanked. Uh-uh, ain't gonna happen. Okay, that was suboptimal. Good. Let's get rid of all of the loss. If they are worth five supplies per corpse, then that would be so imbalanced. Yeah, Roby can score some kills. Let's re uh, let's reload just in case. We're not moving anyways. Overwatch. Overwatch. And moving in, we might want to get the loot. Reloading, Reloading with her. And let's just observe what they are doing. It seems as if they don't really know what to do. All right, we almost got all of them. Time to move in and kill the two um, advents, and then I think the mission should be over.
Okay. Run and gun. Moving up. So we got one more grenade, and I think there won't be any more losts. So gotta shred him, take away the cover, and deal some damage. So there is only a small chance to instantly kill him. That here is the instant kill and it's a very solid chance. Come on. Of course. Solid miss. Which means we got to climb down here in order to get the loot. Yep, well worth it. That's 40 gold. Uh, for the 40 gold, yeah. 40 uh, supplies right there. The last advent. <clears throat> Good. Roby moves over, can flank him. I think since quite some time this was the cleanest mission. Pretty much just very safe play, very methodolo uh, methodological um, approach to it. And at only a very few uh, instances the enemy effectively could even take shots. Okay, now let's um, have a proper debriefing. Two promotions, not too bad. Glitch here, gets Shredder because it's a great ability. Renvan, oh nice, Tech Sergeant. We're definitely going for Rapid Fire because it is such a strong ability. I like the Guardian piece as well. Implaceable is also absolutely gorgeous, so we're going to wait until he gets Implaceable and then Guardian afterwards. Well, I would say that had been a pretty successful run. So we got Iron Skin. Um, and dodge a few modifications two alarium cores 24 supplies all of this here is as if we had a normal supply run 
and then we got like what almost 50 corpses So how long, what, he's shaken for 12 days? Are you kidding me? <sighs> well, we're going to go uh, for the assault with or without him. Would have been nice to have Renvin on board specifically since he's also already a tech sergeant, but boy, boy, we'll, we also got to do the assault soon. Okay, now that our missions are all done, three more days until, <clears throat> sorry, three more days until, until we um, can start the mission, let us begin to start scanning for, for actual missions again. So instead of recruitment, let's go for Intel. Although here's here's the deal. Like we're going to infiltrate and afterwards no more missions will will pop up in this area here. So the Intel piece and in creating new missions is probably a wasted effort in North Africa. Might as well take a good recruitment at the moment just to get it up uh, back up. But here, here we can certainly, here we can certainly rec uh, recruit. Uh, here we can certainly do Intel. Okay, that should show us additional missions, whatever else is happening. In terms of scanning, although I'd like to build the tower, I still think we need to heal up. Nice. So that's actually really good. And we might want to start with it earlier than later. Hesmes was fantastic. I absolutely love it. Shadowkeeper would probably be a good weapon as well through because we get the aim bonus. I like the idea of an incendiary grenade, also super strong, but the Hesmas vest for now is probably the best investment. Yeah, we're not staffing someone here. It's good for project times, but nah. Instead, let's speed up the construction here. And continue the excavation down here. The infirmary needs to be done sooner than later because then the 
So we actually can reduce the healing time quite a bit. Okay, got another 77 income, which is great. And this here will help us uh, to go even further down. I think I think we could um, continue going all the way and clearing up everything because this here is like what? 25 Valerian crystals? Yeah, also not bad. And the exposed power coil is good for another power relay, by the way. One last, uh, I'm sorry for all of uh, the little interruptions here. One last thing that we should do is go for a double check on all of the training. So we check Renvin already. Not enough soldier points. Uh, Phil probably has enough. I like it. The hard target is pretty good. It's a very good ability. Dodge isn't as strong as it is in vanilla, but having five dodge per enemy that he can see essentially gives him bonus dodge and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, most of their ability points here are spent. I think we went through most of them. And the rookies simply don't have enough yet. Well, this here would be interesting. She's anyways stealing with grenades and getting a free smoke grenade plus having rapid deployment. That's actually a good, good ability for her. Lone Wolf, okay. Deep Cover, okay. But Low Profile is better, Untouchable is better, Bring Him On is better in Serial. Yeah, with her we wanted to wait. Same here. Yeah, it seems we went through all of them. Giving him a gratis flashbang is cool. I like that. Dead Eye is good. Run and Gun is good. The last abilities for him are really, really good. So might as well save for it. Although, I would probably take Flashbang over Dead Eye. So might as well take Flashbang first and run and gun and be fitness later. Yep, yep. Okay, we got everyone. Seven days, uh, VIP, 
um, package. Oh, an Intel package. I see. Plus Intel. Sounds as if we can do that. Let me find a team. Okay, and back. We got a pretty decent uh, equipped team with laser weapons and a frontliner. Uh, the shinobi here will effectively be a melee combatant, uh, whilst the reaper is going to be the scout. Another smash and grab operation. Let me see if I can find a team. Good, so since a lot of uh, our soldiers are pretty close to getting back from tired, 3 hours, 21 hours, 19 hours, 13 hours, I looked at the mission time, uh, at the just mission layout, and we would be able to fit in five. Six would already increase the baseline. I think we can do it with five and have an easy mission. And as you can see, the total mission time currently is expected to be five days, 16 hours. So we still have around give and take 17 hours time that we can simply use to, um, to wait for now until everyone gets back. Let me go to the Templar HQ and scan for just uh, the tiniest amount of time and then we come back and staff that mission. So let's double check. Four more hours, ten more hours, so another short scan. It's unfortunate that you can't um, that you can't let, tell the game that it needs to stop. That's, by the way, a perfect timing for them as well. So we can train new officers, uh, which we are definitely going to do. In the meantime, yeah, that worked well. In the meantime, we can now start infiltrating the mission and should still be at 100% with uh, five people. So here we go, smash and grab. Good. Let me get a team together. Okay, I got a pretty decent team. Um, rec time here for explosives. Uh, we got a scout slash melee uh, operative, two gunners, including uh, one of them being a, a specialist, and a uh, taxman will help us uh, f uh, from behind. So that squad should at least get some of the crates. <laughs> yeah, 20 hours, not gonna happen.
One more day to find the skirmisher. We're going to simply wait that. And then we're going to start infiltrating. A Shinobi and an Intel package, but only four days. Corporal Shinobi and an Intel package. Let me see if we do have a team that could handle it. Probably four days is too little because that's a two man infiltration. We would have a specialist, but we wouldn't have another shinobi for it. We need our shinobi for the for the main mission. Do we have a reaper? Eight days wounded. Yeah, no. Uh, Dragonova could have done it quite well. No way that we can do it and go for the um, liberation mission. And I want to do the liberation now. More important. Way more important. There we go. Mobility has increased by one. And... We finally get a faction hero. You know them as they were, the soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. My side were once the puppets of passion, slaves to the spells of superstition. Now, slowly we are free, and all these. Okay, so what could we get? Recruit the scientists and health plus one. Yeah, well, that's the next mission then. Plus one hit point. So we're going in with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, nice. The skirmisher has a lot of hit points. Eight. That's awesome. Hmm. We could take this Grenadier instead of uh, Mitch. Because Mitchell always had low hit points. And giving him an extra hit point isn't the worst idea. Shinobi is the same, but I'm thinking whom of our prime team uh, could we could we send? I think we're going to do this because Mitchell uh, can get can use the plus one health, and we definitely want to have the scientist. We're still ramping up um, the scientists. Getting a fifth one is super helpful. Good. Let's take a look at the skirmisher. Haven't had the ability to play with them yet. Um, lightning reflexes from the get-go. Uh, yes. Why not? Uh, Blade Storm, right here. That even trumps uh, lightning reflexes. Very good ability. Oh, nice Shredder, Run and Gun, Level, Implacable. This here looks like a pretty good. Oh. Combat fitness, that's also good. Formidable. Damn, he has a couple of really good abilities. 
Siren is good. Lone Wolf is good for him because, or for her rather. Let's start with Retribution. Good, and now that everyone is here, we're going to start um, infiltrating and liberating. There we go, let's assault the facility. And I'm going to find a team. All right, after looking at the infiltration time, I decided to simply eight men instead of 10 men this because I don't want to wait a full month. We're going uh, with uh, simply eight soldiers in uh, in here. The finest of uh, the fine um, are going to raid it. Uh, and in 10 days, we finally can start this mission. Also, it allows us to deploy soldiers to other missions in the meantime. So let's continue. Our recruitment in East Africa seems to be pretty good. We got a new rookie out of the recruitment efforts here. Ambush an advent troop column, but it's only five hours. Hmm. I'm wondering if that mission also works without proper infiltration or if we're fighting against swarming levels. Yeah, I mean, we could keep all of the corpses, right? Hmm. We could keep all of the corpses, but it would be a pretty big slugfest. You know what? Let me think about that until the next time. We're almost uh, one and a half hours in. This uh, has been gone way too long. I'll figure out what I can do and we'll take it from there. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.